Lesson nine, order of operations. Step number one when we're talking about order of operations is to look at the grouping symbols. So we always wanna work from the inside out. You may see a lot of times there are parentheses that are only used and they'll just double them and triple them. You always still wanna work from the innermost out. But if you do see these other types of grouping symbols, you might see brackets and braces. You always want to make sure that you're working in this order from what's innermost towards the outside. Step number two is all about the exponents. So we want to evaluate the power of any exponents in the equation. So let's break this down. The base is this larger number five, and it's written a multiple of times. We have the exponent, which is the smaller number, close to still touching the base. It's elevated though. That tells us how many times we are writing that base. Then you have the word power here. Now this is specifically if you want to write this completely out with words, or if you want to say this aloud, you would say the base number, the base number, what we're looking at here would be five. And then we want to talk about the exponents next. So we're gonna say to the, whatever the exponent is, and in this case, it'll be three. So five to the third power, five to the third power, we read it based on the base first. The next step when solving order of operation problems is to do multiplication and division. So here we have multiplication and division. We're working always from left to right. So if we're working through an equation and we see a multiplication problem come up and then a division, we're going to work this multiplication problem first and then work the division problem second. But if we have an equation and we have division come up first, and then we have multiplication in the equation as we read it from right to left. This time we're gonna work the division portion of the problem before we get to the multiplication portion of the problem. So we're always working left to right. All right, the final step in solving for order of operations is the addition and subtraction or subtraction and addition. Again, whichever, work, whichever one comes first. All right, and we're gonna work that from left to right. So the same scenario if we have subtraction first and then addition in an equation, we're going to do the subtraction first and then we are going to do the addition. If we're working an equation and we have addition come up first and then subtraction, we're going to work the addition portion of the equation followed by the subtraction portion of the equation. So how does this actually look? Well, some people like to use PEMDAS or GEMDAS for grouping symbols, then anything with exponents, and then we have a slide here. MD means either one of those can come first, depending on which one's on the left. And then we have AS, which is addition and subtraction, depending on whichever one is on the left. So we draw a slide there as well. So I say order of operations is as easy as pie. And in this example, we'll talk about pizza pie. The problem is the actual crust of the pizza, okay? So if you can imagine your crust up here, this is our problem that we'll, we will be given or an example of a problem that we will be given. Your job is to make sure that you go through all of the correct order of operations and you come down to the first bite of pizza, which will be the answer to this problem. So let's walk through this one. As we're looking at this one, we see that we have a multiplication an addition and a division. So I like to write it out as a stair step, P-E-M-D-A-S, and I remember those slide. All right, so I have M and D on this same level here. The question is which one comes first? Well, remember the answer is whichever is to the left. So in this case, multiplication is to the left. We read it just like we read a book. 
All right, so that means we're gonna do the M, which is multiplication, 12 times four is 48, and we're just gonna bring that straight down. Now we can take that out of parentheses, we don't have to have it in parentheses. Now, everything else drops down. We did not touch it, we did not change it in any way, we brought down the addition, the 18, the division symbol, and the three. Did not touch it. All right, so now we're gonna evaluate these two operations that we have to choose between, and we have addition and we have division. Well, division is still higher than addition. It's above addition, so we need to do the division first. There we're going to do 18 divided by three, and we're gonna bring that answer down, which is six. Now, when we bring that answer down, Remember to bring down everything else. Don't touch it, don't change it. 48 plus is what we brought down there. And our last problem that we're going to work out is this addition problem. So 48 plus six is 54, which is our first bite. So as long as we are following the order of operations, they'll come out correct every time. Let's try some more, okay? Here we have 14 plus 18 divided by two times 18 minus seven. Whew, that's a lot. So here we go. Let's write out our PEMDAS so we know which steps we are doing. P-E-M-D from left to right. A-S from left to right. All right, so do we have any parentheses first? No, we do not. Do we see any exponents? No, we do not. So now we have multiplication or division to choose from depending on which is on the left. So let's list these out. We have addition here, division, multiplication, and subtraction. And that means that division came first. So we are going to take this positive 18 and we are going to divide it by two. Now, please remember, we are just bringing everything else down. So 18 divided by two is nine. And let's bring everything else down. 14 plus times 18 minus seven. All right, nothing else changed. So looking at these problems now, we have an addition, we have multiplication, and we have a subtraction. Multiplication is higher up than um, addition or subtraction. So our next problem is going to be nine times 18. Okay. And that answer is going to be 162. So we have to remember to bring everything else down. Plus minus seven. And now we're comparing those two as well. Those two operations are addition and subtraction. Well, looking at our chart that we made here, addition or subtraction could come first, depending on whichever is on the left. And we see in this situation that addition is on the left. So that is the problem that we are going to do. We're gonna do the addition portion. Now, when we work that one out, we get 176. We remember to bring everything else down. That is our final subtraction problem. So that is what we are going to do. All right, and then we have 176 minus seven, which is 169. First bite of your pizza, very good. Okay, let's try this next problem. You are welcome to pause and try and work it out before I do, and then have your work checked after, or you can just work right along with me. All right, first thing that I would like to do is to label my operations that I'm working with. So I have multiplication, I have addition, I have division, I have addition. So PEMDAS, P-E, M, D, A, S. 
All right, I do not see any parentheses nor exponents. And the first thing that comes up on, in my operations is multiplication. So that is what I'm going to do first. Multiplication. Now, 15 times 18 is 270. And I bring everything else down. Plus 12 divided by 3 plus 9. And I want to list out these operations as well so that I know what I'm working with here. I have addition, division, subtraction. So division is higher up than um, addition or subtraction. So we are going to put a, a little treat here, a rectangle around division. There we go. So 12 divided by 3 is four. All right, I'm gonna bring everything else down. So I have 270 plus plus nine. Just drop everything straight down. Now let's list these two. I have an addition and an addition. They are the same, they are equal, absolutely yes, but we always do the one to the left first. So once we finished any multiplication or division, we do um, the last step, which could be addition, and addition in this case, or addition and subtraction. But just please remember that we're working from the left to the right. We're reading it just like we read a book. All right, so let's outline this first one here. 270 plus four is 274. We remember to bring everything down. And that is our addition problem. That's our last one. So that is the last one that we are going to do. And that answer is 283. If you got what I got, well done. Good job. Enjoy your first bite. Let's try something more difficult. We're taking a step up now because here I see the addition of parentheses as well as exponents. So we need to remember our standard here that we're going to follow. This is our template on solving order of operation problem. So we're going to start with anything in parentheses. Well, we have inside of parentheses an addition and a subtraction. All right, so which of those would come first, the addition or the subtraction? Well, it depends on which one's on the left. All right, and we can see that the addition is on the left, so let's put our square around there, and then we're going to add those two together. It gives us a value of 42. Okay, we're going to bring everything down, including that parentheses. Right. We still have not finished with our parentheses, so we have to continue. We can't check that one off just yet. So next inside of our parentheses, we have a subtraction. So that's what we're going to do next. And that's going to give us a value of 36. 42 minus 6 is 36. Now that we have only one single value inside of the parentheses, we do not need to rewrite the parentheses. We are going to bring everything else down. So now we can officially check off that we have taken care of the parentheses, okay? The next thing that we have here is the E for exponent. So the exponent that I see here has a base of three with an exponent of two. So we would say that that is three to the second power. You also might hear that one as three squared. So for this problem, we are not keeping the subtraction into as a, as a part of the base. We're going to see view the subtraction as a subtraction, okay? So this one is going to give us, let's rewrite it just to make it clear, 3 times 3 because that exponent tells us to write that base two times. So three times three is nine. And we bring everything else down. 36 divided by six minus nine. Okay. Then we have 
division and subtraction. That means exponents are done. So division and subtraction are our choices now, and we know that division is higher up, so we are going to do division first. 36 divided by 6 is 6, and we bring everything else down, minus 9. Now we can see our last step is subtraction. So 6 minus 9, negative 3. If your first bite looks like my first bite, congratulations. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's close this lesson by trying one more time to make sure that we got this. So the first thing that we're going to write, B-E-M-D. I always like to write the little arrows. A-S, parenthesis, exponent, multiplication or division, depending on who comes first, addition and subtraction, depending on who comes first. All right, so let's start here. We have a lot going on inside of our parentheses. Parentheses here. So what's going on inside of our parentheses? Because that is our first step. Well, we have a multiplication, we have an addition, and we have an exponent. Wow. So the first thing that we need to take care of here is that exponent. So we're going to put a square or a topping right there. And we remember that 3 squared, the base is d written, multiplied as many times as the exponent tells it to do so. So this says 3 times 3, which we know is 9. Now we're going to bring everything else down. 2 times, open parentheses, 9 times 5 plus, oh, I have to squeeze it in there, close parentheses, plus 4. So we're still working inside of those parentheses. All right, and inside of those parentheses, we need to make sure that we're doing the next step. So we have a multiplication and we have an addition. Multiplication comes first. So that's 9 times 5. 9 times 5 is 45. And we're going to bring everything else down. Now we still have to work inside parentheses because we had three steps within that parentheses step. So we have to take care of all three of those. And that's an addition problem here. So let's easily show our work for that one. 45 plus 9 is 54. We're going to bring everything else down. 2 times plus 4. So now we have taken care of parentheses. We have inside of parentheses, we taken care of exponents, and now we still have multiplication and division on the same line, depending on who comes first. That's who we choose to do. And then addition and subtraction, of course, along those same lines, who comes first. So we have a multiplication here. We have an addition here. So we're going to do multiplication first. 2 times 54 is 108. We're going to bring everything else down. Our very last step is addition. So our last pizza topping we're going to add there. We have taken care of multiplication and now we're working on addition and subtraction. So here we have addition. 108 plus 4 is 112. Wonderful. That is my first bite. I hope you enjoyed. Happy learning.